All right. Hello class, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use a TI calculator to test different possible roots of a polynomial uh, function, or expression in this case. And uh, actually I should probably make this like that, that would be a little more appropriate. So we need to find all the rational roots of this uh, equation right here. And we're going to be using the P over Q method. And then we are going to test that using a TI calculator. So I'm going to be using a TI-83. Uh, this same method would work for a TI-84, a TI-82, a TI-83+, pretty much anything in that family of calculators is going to be very similar. So this shouldn't be too hard to transfer at all. Uh, first thing we need to do is figure out our possible P values and our possible Q values. Uh, P values come from our constant on the end here and we need all the factors of 6, positive and negative. So there's uh, 1, there's 6, there's 2, and there's 3. So those are all of our possible p-values. Our q-values come from our leading coefficient, uh, our a-value, which in this case is 1, so q can only be plus or minus 1. I chose to not do a terribly difficult uh, problem for this because it was mostly about using the calculator and less about um, how to find these roots and these P and Q values. So anyway, that means our possible P over Q values are, let's see, 1 over 1, plus or minus 1, 6 over 1, so plus or minus 6, 2 over 1, which is plus or minus 2, or 3 over 1, which is plus or minus 3. And our goal is to figure out which of these values is going to make this equation true, is going to make 0 equal 0. So to test that, what we're going to do on the TI calculator, I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to type this, not the whole equation, but everything left of the equal sign into my calculator. So I'm going to start with x, which by the way, if you don't know, this button right here, it has an x, t, theta, n, that's your button that gets you the variable x. Um, and what I'm going to, actually I'm going to clear that out, before I do that I'm going to pick which value I want first. So maybe I want to test 1 first. So I'm going to say 1, I'm going to store it, s-t-o, with an arrow down here, and I'm going to store that value for x and press enter. When I press enter, the calculator says 1 stored for x, and it goes 1. It just confirms basically that you've stored 1, the value in there for x. So now I'm actually going to type this expression in. So x, and then I'm going to use the caret, so x cubed like that, minus 7x plus 6. The calculator's already stored 1 in for my x value, so when I press enter, the calculator will uh, evaluate this for me. And what do you know? I get 0. So 0 equals 0. I know that my roots, or my answers, in this case, are going to be x equals 1. That's one possible answer. Now the coolest thing about the calculator is I don't have to do this whole process over again. Instead, the next root I want to try is negative 1. So I go negative 1, store, x, whoops, wrong button, just quit out of that. If you ever get it somewhere you want, second, quit. So negative 1, store, x, enter again, all right, it's stored. Now here's the cool thing, I don't want to have to type this whole thing in again, so instead I press second, enter, that pulls up in what I typed last, second, enter again, boom, there's my uh, expression I want to evaluate. So I hit enter, 12, hmm, I guess negative 1 is not a possible root. So I go on to 6. So I go 6, store, x, press enter, second enter, calls up that, second enter, calls up my equation, hit enter, 180. I guess 6 isn't a root. But see how quickly I'm able to test my values just by hitting store, second enter, second enter. So I'm going to go a little quicker. Now I want to try negative 6. Negative 6, store, x, enter, didn't work. Or I'm sorry, uh, just confirming that. Second enter, second enter, doesn't work. Get a negative 168. So 6 doesn't give me anything. Let's try 2. 2, store 4x, enter. Second enter, second enter, test it out. Hey, 2 is a possible root, awesome. I'll write that down. Let's try negative 2. Negative 2, uh, store for x, hit enter. Second enter, second enter, try it out, no dice. What about 3? Three? 3, store for x, press enter, 
second, enter, second, enter. Try it out. I get 12. 3 doesn't work. Oh, man. Last one, negative 3. Store it for x. Second, enter, second, enter. And there it is. I get 0. So my real roots, or excuse me, my rational roots are 1, 2, and negative 3. Uh, so that's a very much quicker method than using uh, long division or synthetic division. It's still a little tedious, but it gets the job done, and it can be done with any TI calculator, uh, 82, 83, or 84. Thanks for watching.